Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to learn about uh, corner radius uh, and uh, how you can implement it in design systems efficiently. Now, creating a corner radius is actually quite simple. And uh, before we jump into the design system side of things, uh, I want to basically let you know how this is done because again, it's uh, very simple. You can create uh, an element or even double click uh, on the element and select uh, any one of the individual points and uh, once uh, you made the selection you can see the corner radius under the corner radius uh, section right here under the appearance and uh, by default uh, the moment that you select an object another corner radius you're going to see that basically it's applied throughout uh, all of uh, the sides. You can also, in the case of uh, the rectangle or other similar tools, uh, uh, adjust the corner radius by clicking and dragging on uh, one of these uh, dots uh, right here. And if uh, you select the uh, option and uh, basically you uh, keep uh, selecting option and alt, you can uh, basically adjust the corner radius on one single corner. Alternatively, you can click on individual corners and uh, as you can see right here, you're going to have the ability to decide the corner radius of each and every individual corner right here. So for the very most part, it's uh, uh, pretty straightforward. You can also adjust the corner smoothing. So this is going to be actually the iOS uh, version. So they already nailed down the guideline for you. So quite useful, for example, if you're creating the any iOS uh, assets that need to follow those uh, specific uh, radius. And uh, over here, by the way, we have this uh, really cool design system, which is called the Digital Style Guide Starter V2, which uh, you can find on Figma community. So credits to that. And uh, you can see that they added the border radius uh, over here in uh, this section of the design system. Now, I believe that corner radius in general and border radius, however you want to refer it to, it's a, a very important element and also a misunderstood element in design systems. And uh, you have to keep uh, at least a basic amount of corner radiuses in the design system. Uh, so the way that you add it is actually quite simple. You want to select, uh, let's say that we are, we're adding a basic corner radius of uh, 20. You can click uh, here on apply variable and you can add uh, a new variable, which is going to be, for example, let's say that medium is going to be for uh, this one in the project. And now you have uh, your border radius within the design system. Now, why this is important? I'll give you a real life example. I'm working here on uh, the new design uh, um, website uh, for Geo Designs and uh, the Figma course. And as you can see, there's th several different elements, uh, but uh, also several different responsive sizes. And uh, you're going to notice that in some instances, we're going to have border radiuses, which are more emphasized. Other times uh, they are quite uh, minimal. So you want to identify the different type of border radiuses which you're going to have throughout the project. And uh, this is going to be really, really helpful to have in the design system in order to maintain a level of consistency within your designs. So I would say at the bare minimum, having uh, a uh, small and uh, medium border radius. So this is going to be maybe more minimal. Maybe you have uh, then uh, uh, again, this, I'm just making these numbers up. You're going to need to decide the border radius based on the type of components and the brand identity and guidelines that you're going to have for the specific brand that you're working with. And uh, also a border radius of uh, say something like uh, um, 100 is going to be helpful for maybe apply to some specific elements like radio components uh, and uh, things of that nature or whenever you need uh, a instance where you're probably use, utilizing a rectangle of some sort uh, in order to create uh, some sort uh, of uh, very rounded appearance. 
So that would be my suggestion. Again, it's really going to depend uh, and boil down to the type of project, the type of uh, um, system that you're setting up. But overall, uh, it's uh, one of those items that uh, you want to have in your checklist. So I hope uh, this uh, video was helpful. If you want to learn more about UI UX design, I'm sharing my over decade of experience uh, in uh, my YouTube channel with over 900 free videos. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one.